This is meteorologist Mark Molnar from uh, Meteomark.com. We're going to take a look at a quick update here. Actually, I'll make this quick. It's a Saturday evening, so I'd like to get on to other stuff right now. But we have Rafael. Rafael is just passing just east of Puerto Rico. 50 mile per hour winds. This storm is accelerating towards the north. Well, let's take a look at forecast models. This storm is going to become very close to Bermuda and eventually Newfoundland as it moves north and then northeast and it accelerates very quickly over the next several days. It could be in Bermuda in about two to two and a half days and could be as far north as Newfoundland by as little as five days. So all should be watching this storm. It likely will become a hurricane as this storm heads into a le lesser shear environment here and it is strengthening and it's looking very impressive on satellite picture. It is drawn up in this trough that has very little wind shear but it's able to get enough cold cloud tops in the center to actually keep this thing going. And this thing's going to accelerate off to the north and eventually the northeast. And all models take it pretty much in a very tightly clustered path. So all should be watching this storm extremely closely. Now we have a developing situation right now out in the central plains right now and this is why this is more of a special edition here. We have a cold front, a very vigorous cold front with a warm front. And I'm not going to pay attention much on temperatures this evening because this is a severe weather outbreak going on in Oklahoma City, down to up to just east of Wichita, Kansas City, um, and down into Texas, down by Midland. And there's a tornado warning over here in uh, southwest Texas. We have the severe thunderstorm warnings all the way up, stretching into Oklahoma City and uh, just south of Kansas City. This cold front is very vigorous for this time of year. So as you can see, the clouds heading out ahead of this warm front in the northeast. And we have overrunning precipitation and clouds in New York and Pennsylvania, western New York, western PA. And a soaking rain will develop in these areas overnight into Sunday. Your Sunday should be warmer in the northeast as this warm front pushes northeast. But the big story right now is this central portion of the country, the severe weather will spread eastward across Missouri, Arkansas, and eventually possibly Louisiana for Sunday. Now, let's take a look at precipitation amounts. I'm just going to show you a quick map uh, during the next uh, several days here, the next say three to four days and most of the precipitation is confined across the lower Great Lakes some heavy rain up to a half to an inch to a quarter of an inch all the way up to an inch in uh, north central New York and northern Pennsylvania up into uh, northern New England and extending the heaviest rain will be two to three inch amounts extending from Detroit Chicago all the way down to Missouri and northeast Texas now let's take a look at a system, a tornado, uh, not a tornado, but a severe thunderstorm warning. And I'm going to show you um, this rotation that's going on in this storm just east of uh, Warica and east of Warica and west of Ardmore. And uh, here we go. Here's the three-dimensional view. We've got the cloud tops up to 25,000 feet. That's not too high usually. Sometimes it's more severe storms we see up to 40,000 feet. But you can see the blue cone here. This is a sign of rotation and that is why these tornado watch box, let's take it back to the uh, Oklahoma City area watch box, tornado watch boxes from Wichita all the way down to just east of Lubbock. And severe thunderstorm watches in southwest Texas all the way up to uh, just south of Omaha, Nebraska. So that pretty much does it. If you live in Bermuda, Newfoundland, be watching Raphael as it strengthens. If you live in the center portion of the country, on up um, just east of, uh, just west of Memphis, east of Dallas, east of Oklahoma City tomorrow, we could be seeing over towards Little Rock, St. Louis, we could be seeing a severe weather outbreak. I'm meteorologist Mark Mulner from Meteomark.com. Don't forget to visit my website at www.meteomark.com. Don't forget to subscribe wherever it is on the page or your mobile device. Um, and like us on Facebook, Meteomark.